Mineral Resources Minister Musebenzi Zwane is visiting the troubled North End Platinum Mine. Two of the biggest mine workers union are engaged in what is believed to be a turf war which is turning fatal. Noom and Amku at North End Platinum Mine in Limbobo are fighting. The violence has forced the mine to close shafts for two days while they work on defusing the situation, engaging with both unions and police. A private meeting at the mine involving SAPS Mine Management and the two unions has been held in a bid to bring back peace and resolve the clashes. Over the weekend, a new member was shot to death and the following day, an Amku member was stabbed and killed around the mine. Two vehicles were also torched in the area, making the area quite uneasy for any work to be done. The mine is expected to be fully operational today as shafts are due to be opened after two days of closure. Joining us live from Northam is ANN7 reporter Calden Ongmu. Thank you for joining us uh, once again, Calden, um, uh, there at the mine. Now, uh, regarding the shooting and, uh, well, rather of the AMCU and uh, the other member, um, what is the take on the uh, miners themselves? Because obviously no one wants another situation of the Maragana um, ending uh, there. Uh, definitely, Nandi. First of all, let me just start off by saying that the meeting uh, between uh, my minister, Minister Zwane, and the management, Northern Platinum Management, is still taking place. It started around 11 in the morning and it's still going on. We have NUM members here. Uh, AMCO members say they will not be attending as they were not invited. Media has been waiting since morning to get an update from uh, Minister Zwane himself as to what is really happening here at Northern Platinum Mine. But to give us more details and also we have uh, NUM official with, uh, with us who will be talking but uh, also to correct, uh, there has been a whole lot of confusion regarding whether the two miners that were killed earlier this week on Sunday and Monday are whether or not both belong to the NUM, uh, uh, whether or not both were NUM members. Uh, this morning when we arrived here, uh, the Northern Platinum um, Management did give us a statement which reads that both the members that were killed were NUM members according uh, to their uh, book. But the NUM has said that they have confirmed that one member is definitely their member and they're still investigating on the other. However, AMCU has uh, sent out a very harsh statement saying that they are uh, NUM and the management is working together to do away with AMCU in this platinum region. And they said one of the member is, of course, AMCU member. But to give us more details on this, we have Eric, who's the National Secretary for Health and Safety. Eric, thank you so much for joining. There's a lot of confusion. Can you please clarify the number, whether it's two NUM members that died, or is it one? Uh, as National of Manu Workers, we, we, we hear what management is saying. What we are busy now with, uh, we, we are sure that the one who has gone down at, 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 at town at Northam is our member. The one uh, who died during this time bit uh, at, at, at the boom gate, uh, we are still verifying. But in terms of the printout that we have received as National of Manu Workers from the company, that person belongs to AMCO. I'm sorry, sorry to cut you. Eric, can you explain to us what's happening? AMCO has sent out a five long page uh, statement slamming NUM. Of course, you all are the majority unions here. Do you think uh, whatever the AMCO is saying that NUM is colliding uh, with the management against the AMCO, is that true? NUM have never collided with management. We are not colliding with management here. Uh, uh, AMCO members uh, just, uh, they stood at the gate uh, on Monday morning they started recruiting and using the recruitment, uh, recruit, recruiting people at, at the gate where everybody who is staying outside the hostel was gathering. Then that's where the, the, the problem came. Others didn't want to be recruited. That's information that we, we got as National of, of Man Workers. Again, we, can, we must highlight this. NUM members now are, are, are getting angry because this is the sixth person that have been killed in this area. Uh, since fe February 2015, February, March, April, May, June, July, Every month, a member of the NUM have been gunned down. The, sixth, uh, the fifth one wa wa was stabbed to death. All these cases, people who have done these things are known that uh, they are still at large. Some they were arrested, released. You know, that is what makes uh, these members angry because they, they know those people. 
Okay, Eric, also, uh, please tell us, AMCO members are not here today. NUM is here, the government is here, the management is here, and of course the media to cover what's going on here. Can you tell us, are you going to resolve this issue today itself, or is it an ongoing issue? Do we come to any kind of close, uh, closure? Can we see any kind of closure today in uh, AMCO's absence? Uh, as a matter of my because we are a majority union here, we are able to talk to our members, uh, they are able to listen to us, we are going to we are engaging our members even yesterday there was a mass meeting where a, a, a police were invited also management was invited to 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 go and account on these allegations that have been uh, 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 have been uh, hint hinted against the police therefore as national of man workers we are committed to resolve this uh, this problem we believe that solution can be reached uh, this is not the first and the last meeting we believe that this is an ongoing process that can be uh, can be resolved in a, in a mid, short, medium, and, and long-term solution. We don't like to see uh, workers uh, killing each other. We want stability in the money industry. As we have signed the stability uh, agreement, peace and stability agreement in the, in, 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 the union, in the money industry. Okay, thank you so much, Eric. We're going to catch up with you a bit later after the briefing to give us further uh, updates. But also, Nandi, to just to correct that, today is Thursday. Today is the fourth day that the mining operations underground has been temporarily halted. So this is definitely a big cause of concern, not only for the management here, but also government. And also taking back to 2012, when you saw when AMCO, uh, when AMCO workers were on strike uh, in Marikana and the Lonmin uh, uh, Marikana, you saw the uh, how the uh, operations that were halted had resulted in big loss to not only the management but as a country as a whole in terms of economy as mining is one of the majority uh, uh, mining is one of the sector that uh, really uh, you know upholds the economy of this country so that is a major uh, uh, concern uh, to the management as well as the government so we will be updating uh, later about what will come out of that press briefing